Right, so it is Sunday. It is day, well, seven of our Prime membership. I think we'll still have a little bit of time tomorrow, but I've not really got time to play it. So today will be our final day on the account in members. As you see, logging in, we have a lot of stuff buy and a lot of stuff sell, which is very good for us. Our daily challenges for the day are going to be daily fishing, daily cooking and daily hunter which is nice we're going to do that in burthorp now um but what i want to do first is go and sort my grand exchange out today's main goal is to finish all our supplies and liquidate out all our money and then we'll have a bit of an idea of how much money we've got we've basically got enough money for a bond now i think we've got enough for two but i want to pretty much end this series on a completely like deleted bank um, and just a cash stack but as always we're going to do our zaffron uh 15.8 funnily enough we actually still make money there uh, i'm just gonna get rid of corn the incense sticks that made a lot of money there um i think we made if we can see it so uh, 7.5k is what we'll probably have been in yeah we double our money we did well there right so that's what we're going to be doing first we're going to be doing the ivet incense sticks make a couple of k per incense stick here so they are 10k each 2k for the stick 1k for the herbs so we're making 7k per um incense stick which is really good and that brings 7 mil total and a little bit if i make an xp which is never too much to moan at right so been afk and sort of editing one of the uh video two um video one went down really really well so again thank you for all your views um so just doing our last incense stick and we have done 1001 um irrit incense sticks we've got level 55 fire making which is nice um got a few decent levels desert treasure um is a big one there and we'll unlock some decent new logs to fire make with and also qualm incense sticks which are another very good one what i'm going to do now is quickly run through like our dailies so i'm just going to go and do the daily challenges um luckily is we have got a nice um hunter one uh as well as hunter i think we've got fishing and cook King? yes fishing and cooking so that works out well we're going to do crayfish after this um and then we'll do our last wheels we're going to get to our daily presents um at the end of the skilling today i will make sure to cash in all the last wheels uh we're gonna go through our death touch dart as well um so i've got a bit of an idea of where it's going to take that but while we're here as well there's something um i've been meaning to do for a while one of the things we got from our prime membership package was actually a monthly reset token and i was thinking for a while like i don't know what to use that on the account stats wise he's not ready for troll invasion troll invasion i think it's just gonna be a waste so where i'm going to go is actually going to do some god statues so this count um one is just south for Tavoli, and there's also one in loombridge as well so we're gonna do both of those then use our token to reset and that just means we can do both of them again so we'll be able to squeeze in four god statues i'm sure we'll get something like 30 construction from it which would be uh, pretty nice and then um from the comments of the first video yesterday i realized that i messed up heavily so as you've seen like plenty of times during these episodes, I've gone to Zap all the time as like daily. I should have been going to Rune Shops and it completely slipped my mind. Uh, Rune Shops would have been a massive way to make like GP from a store. If anything, I made it hard for myself by not doing it, but um, I just can't believe I forgot it. So shout out to the person who did that comment in the first episode. Um, Rune Shops would definitely have been, definitely have been in the way. And with all the comments and all the suggestions from like the first video, I'm definitely ready to do a part two. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a part two while this promo is still going or if I'm going to wait for when he next release um, a membership package. I've got a bit of a like feeling that they're going to do another membership package for the Necromancer release just to get players in and involved as well. Right, five hunter. Uh, I'm just going to go and get a log for our fish and we're going to go and fish our crayfish, cook our crayfish and then yeah, go from there. But all which we've got left today is 3k potions. We finished all our battle stats yesterday, got level 72 crafting. Um, we've got 1000 super ranging potions and 2000 super attacks. So we'll definitely get 80. I might squeeze 81. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how we get on to there. And then, yeah, after that, we'll pretty much um, set up the account up, sell what we've got in the bank. Um, all I really want is just a GP stack after this. And then uh, see how we finish. I do think we're going to squeeze for two bonds. But I do think we could have done better. Um, again, think little things like the rune shop. The rune shop would have been like a massive jump in GP. We probably could have got onto like Herblore on day one. Um, I do think maybe combat could have been a good route to go. I think we've just set a really high bar though um, for the first attempt. I think we've done really well with the first attempt. But I do think like if I was to do it again, which I am going to do it again because it's really good and it was a good challenge. I did enjoy it. I've got some other ideas. I've got some other ideas. Every time I do this, I'm going to sort of like limit what I can do um, compared to how we did it, how we did it on like the previous episode. 
Level seven cooking, we can bake a potato. I'll just keep fishing and um, fishing the crayfish for some more. And then we'll do our final spins. We'll get our final last wheels. But yeah, for, for the finale of this episode anyway, and in all our last wheels, we've got a death touch start in the bank. And I think I know where I'm going to do it. Um, it might be Cowfight King. I think Cowfight King is probably like the safest one for us to do, um, if I'm honest. So let's go and burn all these again. And to be fair, this series has been quite good for me because like all I've done on the other two accounts is like AFK. And I've not really played with the other two accounts for a little while. The main account needed to do some mining heavily. Um, and because we've been doing mining as well, we've been able to use our big book, which means we're getting clue scrolls ready for our big clue scroll push. And the new account um, just needed to do something to like use up the golden cape perk. So it has done archaeology, which is not the absolute top priority there. We've got a lot of stuff we need to do ready for um, the stream. But it's uh, it's been good enough for what we needed to do anyway. So um, it's given us a chance to do some AFK, change some invention, and also rack up some um, of the last wheels. Because you know on this channel, we do love a, uh, a loop video every now and then. Right, so that is all our challenges done. Throw all the stuff in the bank. Oh, and some good news as well, even though it goes for GE, the um, Super Strength Potion Bracket Forced Excel. So we actually have that money there. We withdraw that. We are over the big 100 mil. Um, so, yeah, a bit mad really, but uh, yeah, not too bad at all. In, in, in the grand scheme of things, like to show like in a week we can make 120 mil on a fresh count, it's quite good. I'm, I'm very happy with how we how it's gone. Uh, I'm going to wear the attack spam mail because, you know, I'm big deal now. Big deal now this uh, this series has gone well. Right, so, oddments as well. I'm going to use the last of my oddments for a key. So we've got, I think we've got six keys. We'll do the six keys now. Well, no, we haven't. We need to go and hand in our challenges, that's why. Bang. So we can get a couple of levels. We can get some more weekly rewards. So we got 11 fishing. 11 cooking and 7 hunter. Not too bad. Ooh, fishing contest. Big. A um, couple bits of recipe for disaster. That might be good, you know, like recipe for disaster and get in the chest because grapes are like, bang, 7 keys, 7 keys. Let's see what we're going to get. More prismatic lamps. Nice. Stars. Protein shakes are good. Three cinders. Very nice, although we can't really use them. Two large lamps. More last wheels. And some more last wheels. All right, very nice. We've got 2,000 last wheels on that. So we'll probably get 25k, which is actually not too bad. And um, the lamps, the lamps, I'll tell you what, the lamps are going to go on. The lamps are going to go on. Before I forget, think about it, mining. There we go, 25 mining, which is close to that uh, level 40. We're not going to end up doing the quest in the end, but in case we ever come back, it's nice to set ourselves ready up just in case. Going past the zap as well. Actually, what we'll do, we'll take a quick little detour. To show basically what we could have won. And um, we're going to go to the room shop. Now, I don't know why I didn't sort of didn't think. Um, maybe that's why. Um, when we would like check in the archery shop and the um, armor shop. Let's go and check uh, this one out as well. Because this is where you'll really make money. Um, a rune store is not too bad. So like things like this. Like 17 GP for a water rune. That any like elemental now is just stupid. I don't know how much a body rune. We'll try a body rune in the mine. But for these... Are definitely worth it. Well, maybe not so much the the fires and the waters are worth it. The other two, the other two, mm, didn't miss. Good thing as well, we've uh, through our weekly rewards, we've got some uh, magic note paper, which is going to help us with uh, Cavite King. Cavite King, I am pretty certain we're going to get some sharks, um, so at least then we can note our drop. Right, let's go and buy our staff. Oh, as well, let me uh, let me summon the boy back. There he is. I had to do a thumbnail, um, so the main thumbnail I needed to get rid of Jemmy. Shield. And then by the end of today as well, our big collection will finally be sold. I think we got something like two, two and a half mil from it, which considering like how little it's took and the fact we own, it takes two minutes every couple of hours, um, it's quite mad how quick that's racked up. But I'll probably actually, I'll probably start selling definitely the Batwing and the Imp ones now because the other stuff will be quite quick to sell and i don't think that'll cause as much problems i think the imp ones and the spider and the spider orbs might be a little harder to get rid of yeah so i'll do that actually throw those in the bang so things i'm gonna sell first are going to be bat wing spider and the imp yeah because these are gonna take a little while i think oh right the imp sold oh, fair enough um, what I'll do, if I throw our cash stack in here, start getting rid of 
these items now. At least they can sit in the GE as well and sell it over time rather than rush. Those protein shakes are thrown a curveball because I don't know where to use them. I might. And construction won't really get it very far. So we could use them on. We could actually use them on um, on Herblore to be fair. Those are the last things we bought. Yes. Oh, they sold. I didn't expect that. Spider ones have been hit and miss. Fair enough. Um, the hats. I expect them to go straight away. Wow, they didn't. Right, so Batwing. Uh, in porn. The staffs will go. All right, we're going to put our diamonds in. I really don't think we lost like that much. Um, right, so. Irrit incense sticks. Oh, that's a good sign. But this could be really good for us. I was working off 10k for these incense sticks. So if these sell for more, that's even better for us. Wow. So they sell for 1904. So if I was to put these in for 18. 888. Hopefully, they sell nice and quick. Right, so that's uh, something we've been meaning to do for a while. Um, basically, just get our stuff selling and stuff moving. All we've got left now are these potions, which is what we're going to work on now. And then see how uh, how many levels we get in Herblot. And then once these three potions... Once these 3k potions are done, um, that's going to be it. That'll be as done. Um, I might do little things like the dummy crates. Use these proteins. Just like things to finish the account off. Um, I'll strip everything out. Sell everything. And then uh, see how we go. But one thing I did say we were going to do. I'm going to go and do my god statues now. So we're going to go to Burfoot first. Look at little Jemmy run. Right, so if you don't know, god statues is a monthly DND related to construction and like prayer and slayer. It's not going to be the biggest XP in the world, but basically for us, it's free construction XP. And it's a good way to start your construction off if you're on a brand new account. Basically, there's, I think there's four dotted throughout um, RS. One is south of Yanil. Which I suppose we could go and do that one as well. Um, and one is in Canopus, which we can't get to. And basically what you need to do um, is... We've got to send Jimmy home. Uh, is just help set up the um, scaffold. And once the scaffold is correct, it's quite... It's a process of like elimination. I'll talk to you when we do it. Uh, basically, you just need to work out how to do a scaffold. Okay, right. Let me do it. Build scaffold. Right, and then um, you have it linked to the area. So the Tavali, it's Guthix. So we want to gain prayer XP. If you do do the Slayer one, you've got to kill a mob and I'm um, not really in that in that level. So basically what you just do is, it's like Power of Elimination. So as long as you don't go too big and once you get something right, it ticks it off then. So you know like where you're not right and where you are. Right, so we know that one is... Right, so we know that these two need to swap around. Yeah, basically it's, it's nice and quick. It's Process of Elimination and it will give you some Prayer and Construction XP or some Slayer if you decide to pick the wrong God for the area. So we'll just get chipping along. Now, construction really could have been something um, we could have made money with. And to be fair, if I was to do it again, construction, I'd like to do something other than like crafting and crafting and herb lore. So construction might be the one we do next. Right. So we're going to do the one in Loombridge. Level two prayer as well. Right. So we can see the God statue in the background over there. So we'll go and fly over. Basically do the same thing. Um, you'll have a combination of scaffolding. You just need to work out which one's which. So for this one, Ziliana for Lumbridge. Right, there we go. So we can just see which one is, see if anything is correct. Right, so he really isn't happy with us. Um, right, so that's better. So we have 25 construction. Let's see what we're going to get. 27 construction. God, statue. Ah, oh, right, okay. Rip. Okay, we'll go and set ourselves up for Herb Law and get going with Herb then. We'll work our way through the um, range of potions because they'll be nice quick XP to start with. And then after that, we'll go and slog through with the um, attack potion. So, on to the favorite world, World 84. Um, it's time to go and lose a couple of brain cells and get on with the Herb Law. I've set both accounts on some AFK stuff as well. So, we can just sit and crank through some Herb XP to Herb Law. Over right. Alright, let's get cracking. So with the super raging potions, we'll definitely get 80. Um with 2k super attacks as well. I'd like to hope we could get 81. Um and that's some decent progress. Um all of 81 we've made it an awful lot of GP. Um in hindsight as well, something we could have done a bit more of. Um this can is utilize divine locations. Obviously, our divine location stats aren't the best, and we are limited with people putting this stuff down. 
But it could have been something we could have looked at. Um, divination could have been something we did for money making, even though it would have been quite slow to start with. Again, there's, there's, there's loads of different ways you could have approached this. I've just gone down to two that I know are like very good money. And don't get me wrong, they have worked out wonderfully. Um, we have made a, a lot, a lot of profit. So I've got our final level of our herb grind. We've got 81 herb lore, which actually I forgot to unlock Sorrow Brews. Now, Sorrow Brews are, will also be a decent profitable potion. At a the minute, they're not as good as they used to be, but they can actually make more than your supersets. Supersets are what making the big money at the minute, but Sorrow Brews are still profitable. And along with that, a lot better XP than what we're currently doing. In terms of that, we've probably got another seven to 800 super attacks left to crack through, and then we're pretty much done with Herbal then. And we can move on to the other skills and start to sell up our potions. But 81 Herbal from a fresh account is not too bad at all. It's um, unlocked another form of potion for us to make money with, and we've got a decent chunk of profit from doing Herbal this way. And I wanted to show you guys, especially with Herbal it's no longer like a massive money sink. It is if you wanted to do it certain ways. But if you're from a fresh account, you can be training this skill and still be making quite a bit of profit while doing it as well. But I'm going to finish these off and then we'll start to sell up um, all the items. So the time has finally come. It is time to start selling up our bank. Start taking all the items out of the bank and getting rid and getting one big cash stack. All I'm going to be left with is some untradables, the cash stack and things like the enhancers I'm going to get from the last wills. Now, one thing I've found for like a last minute moneymaker, um, the soul ornament kit can be added onto the Reaper ornament kit, and this can be turned into an EOF like ornament kit. And buying both the ornament kits and turning them into an EOF kit is actually making decent profit. Now, if these two items buy for the price I put in, I'll make about 5 million GP just for like two minutes work. So while I'm selling, I'm going to have that offer in to buy while I'm um, selling. And a good thing is with this as well is you can do this twice per four hours. So if we get one flip where it actually works in buys, we'll definitely give it a second try. And hopefully we can make 10 mil for our four hour slot. Now, depending on if I play any time on sort of Monday, depends on whether we'll do this again. But at least for this set of four hours, we'll hopefully be able to make some decent money. Apart from that, we're basically going to run through whatever's left in the bank, throw it into the GE or from a general store and just get as much money as possible into the coin patch for our final total now i managed to buy the soul ornament kit for 46.5 i bought the reaper kit for 6.3 i'm gonna throw it in for something like a 4.5 to 5 mil profit so we'll see if that actually does sell but again it's only able to do this because we actually have the money available it's quite a big investment even though it is quite a decently sized profit as well but while that's selling we're gonna go and jump in to our selling of the rest of the bank and I'll just do a quickly speed, sped up like montage just showing you what we ended up selling.
So the time has come for us to use our Death Touch Dart. We are going to go and do Cat Viking. Um, basically because there's no other real boss I can throw it at. Which offers us any benefit. Cat Fight King, we are hoping for a Drygo here. Some Onyx Bolts would be nice, but really a Drygo would be really nice. Um, I know I'm going to get Sharks, and I know that's why it's just going to happen. Because it's the worst reward out of a lot. And it doesn't really work out that we're going to go and pull like the really good item. We're going to go and get the worst. So... Big thanks to Ayers, who's helped with the thumbnails in this series, along with guiding us through the Cowfight King. We're going to go and start this Cowfight King kill, throw our Death Touch Dart, and that will be the last of our, like, our monthly items, which we got from the Pyron package. And again, something like this is like beneficial. There are some quest boss, especially some quest bosses, like which are quite high-end, which the Death Touch Dart works on. If not, you can use them on things like Cowfight King or Neck, and probably make some profit. So here we go, our Cowfight King drop is... Then I say... There we go, sharks. Ah, uh, so it's a good job we didn't like put like a lot of um, bets on that we're gonna hit big there. It was more of a fun little thing to do at the end, and you know we got some charms, we got some shark. It is what it is. Um, it was always gonna be like a roll of the dice, and if we did well, we did well. And if we didn't, we won't get upset because we made plenty of money with other methods as well. So there is our death touch dart. If we do this again and we get it from a prime loot or a merchant. We'll hopefully be at a combat level where we can probably do something like next. Where we're probably guaranteed like a better base drop even if we don't hit the boss table. But it was worth doing while we're here. But yep, yeah, let's get back to VGE, open our gifts and then sell up everything else. So Cafe King only gave us the sharks which, you know, it is what it is. I, I was pretty sure I was going to get sharks anyway. That's why those note papers were very good. We've converted all our last wheels now, so they're in as a reward. We're going to loot them now. Um, also, before we just left for Catfight King, the Essence of Finality kit sold. That's a 5 mil profit there, and you can do like 2 per 4 hours. So we've thrown in another one. We're going to try and do another one and see how lucky we can get. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm going to put those in, and I'm basically just going to loot all my um, forgotten belongings. So I don't think we're going to get anything too massive. It's going to be like a lot of cosmetics, a lot of bones, nothing too big. Uh, flying through the rest of these. Quite a lot of like, normal bones and oddments. Oddments are always good. Right, they're finished now to the mediums. The mediums is where we start getting a lot more of these enhancers, a lot more junk, but we will get better drops. But we do start getting the really cool rings. Right, so I'm going to bank all of white stuff. Well, white presents. And then yeah, pretty much the rest of it, the, the rest of the bank is sold now. So we're just pretty much waiting for the um, decent stuff to sell. So like the potions and stuff like that, the intense sticks. We have amended the price of the incense sticks just to give us a better chance to do it. What I really like about this as well compared to the Christmas one, just right click and just open all and just fill your rainbow out. And you can just sit there and watch what you get. Ooh, got a nice title. So once this account has been binned off, the forgotten will actually, um, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be relevant because that's what it will be. Flying down. And um, while we're doing this as well, I just want to say thank you all for all the support, all the likes, all the comments. Obviously, I've sort of pre-recorded this i started to like upload on a saturday but we actually recorded from the monday so a lot of the comments you guys have said i've you wouldn't have seen in the video that's because we we're so far ahead now i am fully intended for this series to come back every time that a series is well every time a prime membership package is released with a membership i think i'm going to do something like this again and see if we can beat our total for this time because while our total is quite good i still think there's room for it to be beaten definitely think there's room for it to be beaten um so i think that'd be quite cool quite cool every time we have one we can uh, we can give it a give it a go and see what we can get and if there's any other sorts of like challenges you're interested in whether you want me to try it from free to play get a bond and stuff like that just let me know in the comments and um anything like this we're more than happy to do i'm more than happy to like do different series ideas from what you guys think uh, i'm just going to continue to bank all of these um and then right 15 of the 15 of the purple ones, um, just to have a look at in the purple ones, this is what we're going to get. Better bones, um, there's still a chance at a soul die, still a chance at a witch's token. But yeah, let's see what we get. And no soul die, no soul die dream, but you know, you can't moan. Um, although I did get, I, I really like these, I really like these rings. Is that Carl's? That is so cool. 
Um, I'll read this. I'll add those oddments. I'll do our last three spins. And then what I'll do, I'll log off and then I'll come back when everything has sold. Protein logs, are, it's bad time. We could have done with that like earlier on. Um, prismatic stars and some more last wheels. Right, beautiful. For the culture, for the culture. Where the large sack of parcels. Change. We'll go back to GE just in case. You never know. And then we'll sell all the loots from the last wheels and then get it added onto the total. But um, yeah, pretty much what we've done now, we've absolutely liquidated everything in the bank, which was GP. Only thing which is in the bank now are sort of like these enhancers, the untradables and stuff like proteins and stuff, which I can't sell anyway. And we're just waiting for the attack potions, the ranging potions and the intense sticks to sell. And then that will give us our final price. I've really enjoyed this series though. It's been a nice challenge. It's been a bit fresh as well. Um, I've not done a fresh account since the noob account. And a new account was probably like two, three years ago. So to like try and look at some new lower level money making methods. And I mean like from the ground, like dirt, like beginning money making methods. It's been a nice change. Um, it's been like a nice challenge as well to just see what we can do with what we've got. Um, and it's like an encouragement for you guys if you are brand new to, to RS or if you've gone away for a bit and you want to come back. Wait till one of these Prime membership deals come out and it gives you like a free chance to have a go, see what you think and see if you enjoy it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unlock one of these crypt things each. They are definitely not going to sell, but I think everything else will. 170k, they are... It's 30k each. They're not too bad of a price actually for us Dragon Bones. Here in Ashes, they're used in the Aggression Potions, Fluorescent, Dragon Bones. And to be fair, if I was continuing this account, I wouldn't actually sell these. I'd probably use these for my own prayer XP. Just to get a couple of levels of prayer, just because it'd be nice. Uh, our Sharks on Cowfight King, that Death Touch Dart really like came in. Don't use your Death Touch Darts at Cowfight King. Do not do it. Not worth it. Uh, to be fair, the Baby Dragon Bones and the Normal Bones, they've come in clutch. I really should have just left them on the account, to be fair, because... Uh, if Necro came um, and they were useful, they'd just go through the roof. That was a nice, like, 2-3 mil bonus. And that's all these things are. Anything like that is just a bonus to the account. Right, amazing. These won't sell at all. 3k. Right, open up the last of them. Um, and open up. I really should have done that before I sold them. I believe the shark is so cheap. 345 GP. Yeah, it's just uh, disgusting. Right, that's pretty much the end of it. We're just waiting now for items to sell. I'm just going to get rid of them completely. Everything else, though, I really need to hit, like, retain its price because the price is so high. But uh, yeah. I'll log back in a bit. Um, hopefully everything's sold. But as you see from our history, we've just basically been selling like all the junk. Um, all the junk which was left in the bank. There were some things there which were like decent priced. Um, you would have seen it in like the selling montage. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is use these medium dummies. As a level 10 slayer, we'll probably get like another couple of levels for these dummies. But obviously, if you guys want to see uh, the extension of this series or the next step, make sure to leave a like, make sure to drop a comment, say this is what you want to see. Or if everyone's going to see me do another challenge, whether I do the same sort of thing, but cannot do herbal or crafting, or any of the other money-making methods we've done in this episode, put that down as well, and uh, we can make it happen. Uh, I really enjoyed this series, and I want to be doing more like this as well, because I really like the From Scratch stuff. There will be main account From Scratch stuff coming at some point, once the noob account is done. That is pretty much going to be the challenge account. So, so that is the end of this video. All we're pretty much doing now is just waiting for everything in the G to sell. But we've still got a little bit of our members which overruns to Monday, which is where we're going to do our final sort of GE value, cash value, talk through the account, what we did really well, what we could do better next time, and basically do one little overview video for this series. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching, liking the video, subscribing, and all the comments you guys are leaving. I really do appreciate it, and thank you again for watching the video. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final video of this series. And let me know what you guys think we ended up for our cash stack as well.